Yeah, uh, Dina joins us live working from home with the story. Hey, Dina. Mm -hmm. Hi, good morning to all of you. So the Torrington family is stationed in North Carolina, but actually part of the family moved back home during the pandemic because yes, they have a family member deployed. And on Memorial Day yesterday and during this pandemic, it's been especially tough. Take a listen to their story. Jamie deployed back in December. This is the longest we've been away and uh, the first time with a baby. <laughs> With a nine-month-old baby at home, Christy Torrington of Rockland is holding down the fort while her husband, Captain William Torrington, an artillery officer for the U.S. Marine Corps, is deployed at sea. Anytime that you're a military spouse doing things, uh, you're kind of a frontline worker in your own home trying to, you know, be both parents. And Captain Torrington is aboard the USS Bataan, working as a joint terminal attack controller. Most recently, he was in the Arabian Gulf when Iranian Navy gunboats harassed U.S. Navy ships conducting training operations. The only communication the family has had over the last six months is through email and two FaceTime calls. They were preparing my husband saying, oh, your son might not recognize you when you get back, but we have a picture of him from the day he was born, all three of us uh, in the hospital, and every morning he stands up in bed and puts his hand on his daddy. Christy is hoping to see her husband in July, ahead of baby James's first birthday, but on this day, reserved to honor those who have sacrificed everything, she has a message for all Americans. Hug your loved ones close because we're, we're lucky enough to have people like my husband who can sacrifice and give their lives to have you enjoy your freedoms. And uh, there's so many people that had to give the ultimate sacrifice. And our thanks to the Torrington family for sharing that story. She says she doesn't know if he's going to get a chance to see the story, guys, on the ship because he's still deployed. But she did say she is so proud of him and she is so happy that her son, James, who is also named after him, has Aww. such a wonderful figure to look up to. But we hope they get to celebrate his first birthday together. We'll continue to follow up Aww. with that family. Fingers crossed. And Christy is such an awesome human being. So I, I imagine her family is very supportive of, of their family as well. Yes, fortunately, she has the in-laws and her own family in the Rockland Granite Bay area. So at least they do yeah. get to be around some of their immediate family while he's away at sea. Awesome. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Dina. Dina. Thank Great you. story.